Hey everyone, welcome to today's video where I'll guide you through the process of installing and running macOS Sonoma on VMware. While I've covered similar tutorials in the past, this one comes with a unique twist. The method I'll demonstrate should be compatible with both AMD and Intel processors. Plus, you'll be able to seamlessly log in with your iCloud account and access all Apple services. Let's dive in. To begin, let's open our browser and search for VMware Workstation Player. Once we find it, we'll navigate to the download page. Under Products, select Workstation Player from the Desktop Hypervisors section. Click on Download for free. Choose the latest version and proceed to the Downloads section. From there, select Download Now for Windows to initiate the download of VMware Workstation Player. Once VMware Workstation Player is downloaded, we'll need to also download Auto Unlocker, enabling us to run macOS on VMware Workstation Player. Open a new tab and search for Auto Unlocker. You'll find the link to Polo Project's Auto Unlocker. I'll include this link in the video description for your convenience. On the right side of the page, locate the Releases section and click on the latest release available. Scroll a little bit down and click here to download the file. I've already downloaded it, so I'm just going to cancel. We also need to download macOS Sonoma ISO file, which we're going to use for the installation. I also provide the download link in the video description, so you can head directly to the page and then download. We also need a text file, which contains information we're going to use later on in the video. The text file contains modifications which we're going to use to get our services working. It will be provided in the video description, so you can copy directly from there, or maybe just download the file, and then open it directly on your PC. After downloading everything, we can close our browser and then open our download folder. So this is VMware Player, this is Mac ISO file, um, and this is Auto Unlocker. First, let's install VMware by double-clicking on it. Now, proceed to accept the terms and initiate the installation. Once installation is complete, click on Finish. Return to our download folder and extract Unlocker using WinRayR or another file extractor. Once extracted, run the Unlocker application. Now, within the Unlocker interface, ensure Download Tools is selected if it isn't already, and then click on Patch. This process may take some time as it downloads the necessary packages and applies the patch, so please be patient. Once the patching is complete, click on OK. Close the Unlocker application and then proceed to open VMware Player. Now let's create a new virtual machine and then select Installer Disk Image File, Browse, and then we select 
macOS Sonoma ISO file. Click on Open, and then Next, and here you go. We can see Apple macOS X as an option. Click on it, and then select macOS 14, which is macOS Sonoma. Next, and then let's call our machine macOS 14. You can call it whatever you want, and then the location right here is the directory where you want to install your machine. You could set it to wherever you want. Copy the location because we need it later. Click on Next, and then set the size. I would recommend around 80 gig or above, and then split virtual disk into multiple files. Next, customize hardware. Now the memory here is your RAM, which you can increase to whatever you want. In my case, I have 8 gigs of RAM, so I'm going to allocate 4 gigabytes, which should be okay. Go to Processor and then set the number of cores. I can also run up to 8, so I'm going to allocate 3. And then we can click on Close and Finish. So, we've successfully created a new virtual machine. Now, if you're using an AMD processor, then you have an extra command to run. Open File Explorer. Paste a path we copied earlier here. Then look for a file called VMware Virtual Machine Configuration. Right click on it and open with Notepad. Now to find out if you're using an Intel processor or an AMD processor, right click on an empty area of the taskbar and then open Task Manager and then go to Performance. Click on your CPU and you should see your CPU name right there. Copy the lines from the video description or download it as a text file. and then just paste the lines here and then save. This is only for those using AMD-based processors. Now, let's click on Play Virtual Machine to begin the installation. OK. So we have to select a language for the installation. Um, continue. Now go to Disk Utility so we can erase the disk before we install macOS Sonoma. Continue. Now you should find VMware Virtual SATA hard drive media. It should be around whatever size you specified. Now click on Erase, and then we can call it whatever we want. I'm just going to call it macOS 14. Make sure the format is set to APS and then erase. Click on done. Then let's close this. Now go to install macOS 14 beta. Continue. Continue. Agree to the terms. Agree. And then select the drive we erased earlier, macOS 14, or whatever name you gave to it, continue. And it should start installing. Now this should take around an hour less or more. It all depends on the specs of your PC and how much resources you allocated. It may restart several times, but just leave it to run and the installation is completed. Now we have to set up based on our personal preference. Now this may be slow, and this is due to the display graphics memory. We're going to adjust that later, but let's just continue with the setup. We have to skip signing with our Apple ID for now since we haven't generated our SM BIOS. So click on Setup Later. Now choose between the light and the dark mode and then continue. We've successfully installed macOS Sonoma on VMware Player. You can verify this by navigating to About This Mac. 
where you'll see that the system is running macOS Sonoma, the latest version. However, there are a couple of issues to address. First, the graphics memory is set to 3 megabits, which significantly slows down the machine, particularly noticeable when opening web pages or performing tasks. Secondly, the machine is using a randomized serial number, which isn't ideal. So, we have to generate a unique serial for our machine, and then we also have to increase the graphic memory. So let's close this, and then eject the ISO file from our desktop. Now go to Player, up here, and then go to Manage, and you should see Install VMware Tools. Click on it, and then Install VMware Tools. Hit Continue, and then Install. Click OK, and then click on Open System Settings. So we need permission, otherwise we won't be able to run this software. Open System Settings and then navigate down and you should find System Software from Developer VMware was blocked. Click on Allow. Now click on Not Now. Close this and you can see this is successful. Now let's restart. It's a lot faster now. Now let's go to About This Mac, and you can see the display is now set to 128 MB, which is way, way faster. Now let's close this, and then head on to change our Mac OS serial. So let's head down to our uh, Safari browser, and then search for Clover Configurator. Now click on the link to Mackie 100 Projects, and then download Clover Configurator. Then we can close our browser and then open Clover Configurator from our download folder. We are getting an error. Click on OK, mm, and then open System Settings again. Go to Privacy and Security, scroll down, and then open anyway Clover Configurator. Now let's view this full screen. Now go to SM BIOS, and then right here you can see this button right here. Click on it, and then select iMac Pro 1. 1. So you should find it somewhere around here. Now this is the profile we'll be using. So the first one we have to copy is our board ID, and that is the board ID right here where we're working. So let's copy that. Head to our notepad and then paste it right here. The next thing we need is our serial number. Now click on Generate New to generate a new serial number, and then we can copy that as well. Next, we need ROM and MLB. So let's head to our variables, and then you can see MLB right here. Copy and then paste it as well in your notepad file. and then generate a ROM, copy, and then paste it as well. Now we can shut down our machine. Click on Delete. Open both the commands file or copy it from the video description into a text file and also the machine configuration file. If you lost it, just open VMware, click on your machine, and then click on Edit Virtual Machine Settings, go to Options, and you should see the directory right here. Then you can locate it. Control F, and then look for Firmware, add a new line after Firmware.
copy the SM BIOS from the commands file and paste it under firmware here. Now look for Ethernet. And as you can see, Ethernet connection type is set as NAT, and Ethernet address type is set to generated, which we have to change to static. Scroll down a little bit and look for Ethernet generated address and Ethernet generated address offset. Change the first to only Ethernet address. Change its value to the following, 0, 3, and 93. Change Ethernet generated address offset to check MAC address and set its value to false. Now save the changes, close everything, and restart your machine. And now, we can sign into our Apple account, use iMessage, FaceTime, and every other Apple service. If this video was helpful, kindly hit the subscribe button and turn on your post notifications. Thank you for watching, and I will see you on the next one.